Very excited to talk to our next guest. This man has been balling out for your Miami Heat this year. Uh, really, really doing some fantastic stuff this season. He's Kendrick Nunn joining us here on the program. K Nunn, thanks for the time, man. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. Excited. Oh, man, we're excited to have you. You've been on an absolute, absolute, like, you've had a great season all season, but you're hitting a, a next level tear right now. Like, is there anything that's like, that's, that's clicked even extra? Because you look like in a certain kind of zone right now, man. Yeah. I think, I think it's just that time of the year where, um, where you're locked in and focused on all levels. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going on. Um, it's, it's time to step up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's playoff. We're going into a playoff run now. So you got to bring your A game um, during the second half of the season. You ain't got to say it. I'll say it. The man getting consistent minutes so he can go out and do him. He ain't <laughs> got to worry about not playing for six games. I'm telling you, I know what it feels like. It sucks. You want to be a team player, but come on. He earned sure. He earned his minutes. For sure. That, that's, a tough, that's a tough one, too. But, I mean, when you get consistency managed there, you can get your rhythm and flow as much right. easier. But, for sure. But that has to feel, like, like good because, you know, I – I even remember early on, you know, in my career, you know, I started getting more minutes when guys start getting hurt and I put myself in a position where, okay, got to come back. Uh, I still got to get my minutes because I'm, uh, uh, I'm doing my thing. And, and I think, especially with the heat, if there's one thing that, you know, is frustrating is not, and, and, and it's not necessarily the minutes thing, but when things aren't going well, it's almost like you you didn't leave good enough alone. And so I got to imagine when you sitting there and you thinking, hold on, I, I, say, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but seemed like things was moving pretty good when I was in the game. You, you know what I mean? How tough is that? You know, knowing that you're not a guy, you know, and most of the Heat players aren't. You aren't a guy that's going to, be that voice and say you should be in and still be able to, when you get in to do what you need to do. Yeah. That's like I said, that's the, that's a tough spot because um, as a player and a second year guy, you don't want to, you don't want to toot your own horn, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and say <clears throat> that you're supposed to be out there. So I just try to let my game speak. And, and I think, that should be on all levels. I think um, the guys in the locker room and the coach staff who, who see the production that I give should, um, should push that. Yeah, Kendrick, it's also been a thing where um, you, you, know, you have seen what a benefit you've been to, to winning this year. Um, the seesawness of this season where it's been like you guys you seem like you get on a four-game win streak, three-game losing streak. Do you guys, like, are you in a mindset right now in the locker room where you feel like there's enough time uh, and you guys just got to maybe hit one last stride to get into the playoffs and you can kind of find uh, what you need to be successful in this postseason because we see flashes and then it looks like it goes away. Like, what do you think is um, the missing link into kind of keeping things going, engaged throughout, and maybe keep it a, an even longer run? Um. I don't think there's really a missing link. I think uh, we have all the tools we need to be able to make make a strong playoff run. And, um, like like we've been talking about all season, it just comes down to um, consistency on the floor. We know what we're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not just new. No, no players I knew, no schemes I knew. We know what we're supposed to do out there. It's just about going out there and doing it every night. And that's the hard part. I mean, people talk about um, talk about it, um, showing up every night, but that's something um, that you that, that guys sometimes may take for granted. We have to actually go out there and bring it every night with, with accountability. Could it be a, you know, a health thing with, with guys getting banged up? And, you know, I know – Look, there's a different level of being able to play basketball, you know, at the level that's required and being able to play and get through a game. And with everybody being banged up and guys coming back, you know, and trying to give you everything they have, uh, 
sometimes it's noticeable that guys are still a little banged up, but you can't afford to have those guys sit out. It, has that been somewhat of a struggle also? Because, you know, it's hard to hold a guy accountable when you know what he's going through to give you what he has on the court. Yeah, I think that's a um, that's a fine line with that. Um, I feel like if you're if you're available and, and you're suit up, then that means you're ready to go. Yeah. I mean, I have no excuses that night. If you suit right. up, they go. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if, and if you're out, that's another thing. Or then you focus on getting healthy. Right. But I mean, all the guys that's playing, I think, um, should be held accountable for sure. So that's not that's no question. You guys have been playing a lot of basketball. Is it, has this been, you know, a, a just a crazy stretch from last year's bubble going into this year and them gradually getting into getting into the season before the All Star break and then the chaos after the All Star break. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been a hectic uh, schedule for sure, to say the least. I mean, um, these these past two days that we we've gotten. Uh, a little bit of rest. It feels like a week to my body, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, the, the, those days that, that we do have off um, are very important, man, to taking care of your body and, and putting that maintenance on you. Uh, it's real big for, for the next game. So I think that's uh, that was, that's important, too. And you just have to be smart about it and have a lot of discipline. Is that is that unique for you? Because, you know, in college, you go, oh, we got a game today. Let's go. You just go and play. You fresh, you go to class, do everything you need to do. You don't really get sore. Uh, that changed after last year, huh? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. In college, man, a game once a week, you're ready for those games all the time, <laughs> moments. And uh, the league is a little bit different. You know, three, four times a week uh, for play, you have games. So you just have to be smart with taking care of your body. So okay. getting the right lifts and things like that in so you can be right. ready. So Kendrick, you uh, you did a really you're doing a really awesome thing uh, for for single dads. You you did this. Uh, you've gotten involved with this dovetail project. Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, and like where you know why it's close to your heart and 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 how you got involved with it and and what you're hoping to to get out of it? Yeah, um, I partnered up with Dove, Dovetail Project. It's a um, nonprofit organization in Chicago that helps um, black younger males. Um, that's fathers uh, through the age of 17 and 24. And um, I partnered with them, gave them uh, some donations to, to just to help those in need. I felt like I wanted to touch um, a part of Chicago in any aspect that I can, whether big or small. And uh, that, that, that profit, nonprofit organization came about and then I, I could relate to it. That's why I loved it the most, um, some young, predominantly black um, males in Chicago that's fathers that, that need help. And um, I, w- I was in that position before, so I know uh, what they're going through, and I just wanted to give uh, as much help as I can. Um, they provide essential needs and also um, Zoom classes and courses to help uh, young fathers. So so I wanted to contribute to that. Your, uh, your dad, like he uh, he, he raised you for, for a good part of your life by himself, and, and you're going through – that uh that that journey now uh how much do you lean on him and and, and stuff like that about being just parenting and you uh you have uh, a, a blessed crazy profession but you imagine it's also, also got to be tough because you have time on the road and you uh you got to be away from from your son at times too so how much do you you lean on him when it comes to you know helping raise your son and and just looking for guidance yeah i mean i, I lean on him a lot man um more uh, man it's uh, I can't even think about how much I lean on my dad. If it was for him being in my life, uh, just helping me out each each step of the way, it's been it's been an honor and a blessing just to have him as a father teaching me and guiding me uh, how to do things the right way, and uh, how to be a father. So it's a blessing. Was the line ever thrown to you? You wait till you have kids. You'll see. Yeah, you, he ever say that to you, and then you say, "Man, you probably said to me once or twice." <laughs> My mom say, "Boy, I hope you have kids. They do you like this." <laughs> yeah. so. I want to. Uh, I want to ask you about two things that I love about your game, Kendrick. One, 
Uh, I love when Kendrick Nunn goes and tries to posterize a seven footer. I love, I love when you you go and you try and attack a, attack a giant. What is going through your mind, like when you see when you see a, a big fella right there in the paint, and you're like, I'm gonna go get him. Like, what what is that that switch when you're when you're ready to go tomahawk it on somebody? Um, as long as I get my guy, as long as I get that one two gather in the lane, yeah, no matter who's there, I'm I'm going up. I'm so going you up. ain't come up in here for no finger roll. Uh, <laughs> you gotta finish strong. That's what I learned though. At an early age, you gotta finish strong amongst the trees, or you gonna get your shit beat. But is that does that have more to do with because you're not, you know, six five, six six, so you don't have, you know, yeah. a, a lot of the things that a lot of the taller guys have. So you just said, look, if I'm going out, uh, I'm going in there strong. Yeah, you got to at this size. I mean, them trees, they'll block it, man. They'll send a send, send ball to the stands. I ain't trying to make that happen, so I'm trying to get posted. <laughs> uh, and another thing is, like, how come you – you don't trash talk at all, man. Like, you're kind of like a cyborg out there when it goes, like, just, <laughs> just like score mode. Like, wh- is there ever – like, does Kendrick Nunn ever get to the point where he wants to trash talk somebody, or are you always just, like – tunnel vision and just like always keep the same even keel like do you ever is there ever a time in your basketball career where you got more animated or do you think you'll see that when you're more in the league like why do you keep such an even keel the entire time on the court um i think it shows no weakness uh, honestly i mean you you have an even keel it, it, um the opponents it give them some they're looking at you with a little defense now they on defense you know what i'm saying because they don't they can't read you so that's that's how I go about it. But I do uh, talk a lot of time sometimes. Yeah, but y'all talk out there. I see you guys talking out there like without moving your lips. So you doing that? <laughs> you doing that ventriloquist trash talking? Like you yeah. talking trash, but can't nobody tell but the guy you talking to. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's how it goes most of the time, though. Yeah. Y'all a, sitting in the paint. Uh, y'all <laughs> wait at the free throw line. You like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, but you but you almost got dunked on, right? Yeah, you like them. <laughs> It's, it's like, those talks for sure. My defender knows. <laughs> All right, I've been excited to throw this idea at you, okay? No, come on, man. No, Leo, I got to. I got to. If I have the man himself here, I have Look, to. I, I have to. Kendrick, it's okay. You don't have to be nice to him <laughs> just because, you know, you cool with him. I, I'm Look, telling just you. Just go ahead. Let him know He's going to love feel. this. He's going to love this. Okay. I want the arena to sell a food item after you. And I want that you a fan of Outback, Outback Steakhouse? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I he's, would like He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> he's I would like, like I would like the American Airlines Arena and the Miami Heat at the at the arena to start selling the Bloomin' Onion. Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I never tried it, but that would be that's a dope idea. Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy, Kendrick. Oh, you know how many times he's what, pitched this? What is that? Oh, oh, it's like a big old onion. It's a big. And they fry it and then they it, slice it. it. Right. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll, so I'll, it looks like a little. It looks like a little bloom. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, okay. Let, let me oh, throw it up a blooming onion so on. you can see it. I can't. I'm Come so on, happy I about this, you was Leroy. Shoot this down. <laughs> You're gonna. Like, like, oh, it's, <laughs> it's like, I, I'm te- I like it. I'm telling you, it's. I like it. There you go. I like it. Blooming. See it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> still, yes, this is maybe. <laughs> this can get no better. I am so happy about this, Kendrick. He, you know, he's pitched this to everybody. I pitched this up to, yeah. and people think because they think well, we're gonna bring this. I'm telling you, I've told, I've told Precious about this. He thought it was dumb. I told yeah, people, he said, really? I told people really? in mark, I told people in marketing, they like, he's not going to go for this. So now that I got, now that I got the stamp of approval, I'm going, I'm circling back, Kendrick. I'm circling back and getting oh. the, I'm going to have to vouch for you. I'm going to have to vouch for you. I like it. Oh uh, no, I can't <laughs> believe this. Uh, hey man, this has been an awesome season by you. Thank you for spending some time with us and continued yeah, good luck it, with, man. uh, with project, uh, with uh, the dovetail project. That's really awesome work by Thank you too, man. Thank you. Thank um, you. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, thanks, Kendrick. Appreciate it, man. Boom. Thank you.